Exactly. Yeah. 2012, he did it in a couple of games, and it was like, wow, that was, you yeah. know, incredible. But 2016, it's like, man. But your money's on 2020. 2020, I'm telling you. Every well, four years, my man is just killing it. I'm sure Infiltration would like to disagree with that. Say 2018 is still a, still a young year. He's got plenty of uh, chances left. I'm with you on that. I have The, the, the four-year plan doesn't just mean that every four years is good. It's every four years it's amazing. Every two years he has a good year. Look, are you going to commit to something? Or are you that's just that's the like, commitment uh, right there. That's what, You have to understand, us young players, we all the options, right? We covered everything. <laughs> just that, Much like right. John Takuchi. It's a safety bet. Okay. Yeah, the all safety right. bet. Boo. Boo to the we don't all bed. play with our hearts. Gotta we play, gotta, uh, wake up, uppercut. This all the is time. real yeah. data. I've got, I've got to tell you. Data will be the death of us all. <laughs> yeah, just, eventually, just the, uppercut. Eventually, there will be robots that take our commentary positions, and they they'll have the data too. <laughs> Get hype. <laughs> now, our grand finals. <laughs> Losers finals here at Evo Japan. It's of course going to be Daigo Umahara versus Infiltration. We just had that loss to John Takuchi and immediate switch back to Minata as we probably expect. Round one. Infiltration Fight. wants to find his way back to John. This is going to be a tough fight. We're not playing very much Guile's own game. Yeah, it's, it's such a weird fight for both of these characters. I think like both of them have it such is bizarre. Yeah, yeah it's with such, the reflect as well. Yeah, exactly. It's such a strange game plan that both characters sort of adopt. It's like a little unusual from what they usually do. You see how forward infiltration is moving a lot of the time, right? A little. Oh, uh, he had a little issue there when he did the jump heavy punch. He shoots the orb, and he tried to do crouching medium punch after, but it was still missing. It hadn't come back yet. Something to consider for infiltration. Find KD here. No, oh, too far. Yeah, all kinds of Missed offense. The flash kick. He can't establish the boom game he wants. Nice confirm from infiltration. Recognize he didn't need to go for any kind of reset there. He's going to be able to close it out without the bar. Fancy town and a hat brim flip. Yes. Grab the little bit there. Milady. He's got a nice head of hair under there, actually. <laughs> Should be showing it off. Yeah, that explosion again. Such a funky matchup, as we mentioned. The clash between their projectiles. It takes the sweep. Yeah. Wow. Only get that off of like a super close back. Yeah, that is a lot of awareness. Oh, didn't get punished. Explosion again. Yeah, close. and then he gets the viewer. Yeah. He actually destroyed the seal that Guile created, and then uh, there was the explosion afterwards. Oh, wow. Nice fishing him out of the air. His counterplay is concentration. Got to look for the, the uh, pullback on that. Oh, viewer. <laughs> Thought you were going <laughs> the wrong way. I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, gotta be careful about hitting buttons against Future Guile. If he, if he finds a hit, the damage is huge. I like Daigo looks sort of annoyed by this. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not what he wants to deal with. No. Hey, you know to Daigo, it's too early in the morning for this. Like 6 p.m., he can't handle this. <laughs> EX Boom catches the uh, the drill. Big jump in, but the Good reflected trade. fireball, yeah. Okay. Showing, Daigo showing his uh, annoyance here. It may end up costing him the round. Ooh, missed the combo that he was looking for. Beer versus I like the choice, but still has an orb out, too. And there it is. He, he shoots the rest of it. Infiltration. He's on full CA. Crazy. Great break. You know he's looking for that CA reaction on one of the booms. Jumps it. Daigo burning the last of his meter. Ooh, the orb. Oh, block. Oh, great blocks. You got to look for the pullback. Yeah. yeah. Wants that orb back in his hands. Reflect. Oh, he missed. Oh. That was wow. For sure, that was, a CA yes, attempt. That's yeah. right. He just wanted to get the chip. He didn't care yeah. what would happen at that moment, right? Just a missed input from infiltration, and it's going to end up costing him. And when you see infiltration smile like that, it's because he knows he had one in the bag and he well, dropped it. It's coming out now. There it is. Yeah, grabs both both hands on the hat. Still in the mind. And wait again. Yeah, twice he did it. Double full hat grab. We haven't seen that since Evo Japan 20. <laughs> Ought five. Yeah, ought. <laughs> it's been a while. Again, when that orb is above your head, you just gotta res respect it the whole time, right? It's such a threat the entire entire way you're moving in. Even with that boom in front of him, right? Yeah, I almost feel bad for I go trying to follow in the boom, like, oh, I've got a threat to like come on. Yeah, well your threat means nothing. Yeah, exactly. Look at this orb. Oh clean. Yeah, big call out on the anti here. He was ready for it. Dago just seems hungry for a hit here. He's he scrambling. really, really just wants to get in and hit her. Yeah. It doesn't matter how. He's just trying to find a way, and it doesn't seem like he has quite like a game plan. It's just to get in. No, and like the same frustration we saw Takuchi not falling victim to seems to have very much affected Daigo here. Yeah, he is not the type who is going to sit and wait forever. Slot again, and the reflect. I go just running into everything here, activates it, and oh, jumping like it. So good. 
So good. Minato wins. Yeah, I go with the chin scratch, thinking, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, like what? What? Yeah. What? Are, he's like kind of. There's like a, like a shy smile. Like, yeah. All right. Look, fella, can we just <laughs> meet in the parking lot for fisticuffs like a normal Street Fighter match? Like, yeah. I don't want to deal with this orb situation. <laughs> I thought we were here to punch each other in the face. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to deal with chasing and running and, and trying to find his way in against the orb. It looks like we've hit character select here. Maybe going back to each other one? No. Come on. All right. I was, you were expecting. For a moment, I was thinking. Maybe. The storm clouds of his mind uh, were coming yeah, back. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping we might get a little bit of with uh, B Trigger 2. That would be, Perry. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice to see. Yeah, I mean, almost certainly would be his death. But, uh, <laughs> in high fashion. Yeah, you gotta go out with a bang here. I'm sure the crowd would love to see Daigo back on Ryu. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, they'd be happy watching him do anything. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta, he, look, he just has to sit there and deal with the orb, and Daigo doesn't want to deal with it. No, and his anti-airs have been defeated consistently by uh, the jump in. So there's really no part of his game plan that's been popping so far. Yeah. Even when he gets the big, uh, the powered up boom and he's chasing behind it, infiltration really hasn't taken anything from that. A wake up three frame gets the orb recall yep. as well off the V skill. Bad news. Yeah, I mean, not with a three frame normal. It seems like, uh, seems like hard to answer. answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good wake up three frame check. Tough for a character like Isle to always deal with. A lot of his medias he has to, like, kind of manually time against mm. the three frame character, so. He just, you sort of got to play it by feel, which you know Daigo wants to do, but not all the time. No, and especially not the you know, what it is. Orb on the screen. Daigo finally working his way in, gets attacked far away. Not a combo because of the distance in the front. Yeah. And that drill, you can combo off it with the orb release. Is there a reset here from infiltration, or is this the whole loop? Reset, yeah, he goes low. And the orbs are coming down, Daigo challenged anyway. Still close to stun, finally. Wow. Daigo holds his ground. Oh. oh, just jumping in. Is there any part of the game that he can be winning at right now? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, yeah, like you mentioned, much in the way that Takuchi was ready for everything, Daigo seems unprepared for it all. Yeah, and, and mostly it's just the psychological cost he's been paying. Like, he's making a lot of uh, semi-wild style decisions, which, you know, God bless him, but uh, against the, from this range, like, it's just not... Oh, oh wow. no, so, Daigo. So good. Thought it was his opportunity yeah. to get in there. Infiltration, he's incredible. Like, he's prepared for all these little details. No, you know, the right. minute he saw that jump, he knew this game was over. Yeah, so with the beast succumbing to the web of uh, irritation, being laid down here by Minot. I think uh, an unsurprising end to Daigo mm, for many of us one. who've seen him play over the years. Yeah, he's just, I mean, he's not even in a position to do anything crazy, right? Like, even if he wanted to be going for wild flash kicks, he's not even playing from the part of the screen. Yeah, infiltration won't allow it. No. He, like, he refuses to accept it. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. Oh, yeah. oh, that hurts. You imagine someone telling Daigo that, hey, you can't flash. He's like, oh, who are you? You just have to play from over here. Oh, the three oh. framer off the drill. What spacing from infiltration? And then he wanted the reset after Daigo fights out with the jab. Wow. That's the bully. Reflect available. Infiltration pulls the orb back. Uh, Daigo trying to win this with raw force of will. Wow. Look at the spacing on the drill, right on the toes. He aimed for the ankle bracelets. Empty low, good block. Infiltration's defense, very, very impressive. Ooh. It's like he's the total package. Oh, is that going to reach? No. From no there? No way. Why? No. Infiltration with the reaction on the CA, and it's oh. enough to kill. That is the sound of Vago's heartbreaking right there. If you zoom like. in, you can see his face. <laughs> the, the moment. moment. <laughs> It's just pure confusion. There's there's not a, an angle that's not covered. There's not a box that's not checked. Infiltration is always prepared. And when he's at his absolute best, every four years, that's, that's what you expect to see. When the planets align. When, during the winter solstice. Jump over again. Man, infiltration. He's got corner to work with, too. The orb behind Daigo. He went for the overhead. It's interrupted. And the question that we may be facing as we enter, start thinking about the next match, what was the difference here? He succumbed in a way that John Takeuchi didn't. Yeah, just the irritation. Whatsoever. Daigo, there's more of his life has passed than John. He doesn't have time that's, to wait around right, in yeah. the same kind of way. It's gotta happen now. He's gonna win another Evo. And it won't get any easier, that's for sure. Oh, even the EX boom. Oh, takes oh, the throw. Wow. He gets the activation. Dash is back. And this combo oh, he is tried it again. <laughs> He's trying to bully Daigo. 
not trying to bully Daigo. He's bullying Daigo. Oh, and the jump in. Daigo with no anti airs. Yeah, it feels like he's yeah. unprepared for the drills and the jumps. Well, he's just stuck holding that. EX booms seem thirsty in a way that's just not paying off. Yeah, very rare that that's not an effect. The tool for oh. Guile. What an anti air and full CA on deck for infiltration again. The threat of boom. Yeah, you oh, can't throw a Sonic right boom. There, yeah. yeah, you can't throw a Sonic boom. You can't jump. We learned that last round. Activates. Infiltration ready with it. Oh, he woke up with wake it. Wake up! And there was actually, as there, soon as the wake up happened, there was a nod on Daigo's head. He was like, that's there's, exactly what he was looking for. There's justice in this world. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, yes. No, I was flash. like, no. This round is this round will go down to the side of truth and justice. Like, wake up super. Please. Please. Oh, you don't believe in it? Daigo no. didn't either. There was, as soon as it happened, Daigo nodded. Like, mm. Yup, that's exactly what I expected. Yeah, you see him leaning forward. It's the hunger. Yeah, that's kind of the cheekiness that you expect from uh, Infiltration. Yeah, right? He has a certain sly style. Yeah, there's no shame in that. He wants to do what's going to annoy you most. He's very happy in that position. Who wouldn't be? The same sort of dark art of just uh, making your opponent sad, even if you're not winning. Yeah, much, much like the grappler players, right? The keep away character is very similar exactly in this. So. Daigo against the robes, whip punish, activate. Got a lot of life to make up here. And again, he's afraid to challenge out of the air because he's lost. Yeah. Most of them are not normal. Just on jump. Just doesn't have the anti air timing or, or uh, the flash kick stored anytime. Yeah, without the flash kick. Yeah, that reflects so good against him. Oh. He's, he's hoping for something here, but infiltration in complete control over Daigo. And Try he got the, the counter kick. hit, not even the full combo. Daigo in the middle of something, and he's going to go home with third place here. Umahara, Evo Japan. Win. Party round of applause from the crowd. Happy to see him again. Happy to see him go deep in this inaugural Evo Japan. But it'll be Infiltration returning. The threat of the young buck. And John Takuji, this is, this is his biggest test yet. As we mentioned, you know, he, he's had great performances mm. in this game, but none to this caliber. And this is, you know, the most prestigious event he's made it this far. And it's time for him to truly be tested, right? I mean, making it into grand finals is already a big deal, but can he stay composed against a player like Infiltration? Well, the answer so, that we've seen so far is absolutely yes. So I'm more curious to see how Infiltration is going to try and shake it up. This, the jury answer, even when it was sort of working, wasn't a powerful answer. It wasn't right. a strong answer. It was sort of scrambly, and he was finding his options, and it was some like of the it gimmicks were working. Yeah, 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 it got yeah. him a game, but yeah. it, it didn't seem like it could get him much more. Yeah, and it just wasn't It wasn't uh, strong. Like, there wasn't something to bank on there. It was like, oh, yeah, you can go back and forth, and maybe I can generate some 50-50s, but uh, the Minot just, right, that game plan wasn't there. Takuchi just, the same way Dago seemed really actively annoyed to the point of anger, uh, yeah, it wasn't happening at all for John Takuchi, right. so... Just we'll extreme see. patience, and he is just comfortable. And it's just sort of that realization that, like, I that's cool. Like, I don't need this. And yeah. really, I mean, the thing that would uh, sort of heartbreaking as well for uh, in the Daigo match is even when Daigo would find the space to get a boom off, like, eh, just reflect it. Yeah, reflected cool. in his face. So, and it's like you know we talked about Chun Li not really having the offense to to keep up. Like, Gal mm. doesn't have the offense, but. He's supposed to have the booms. Yeah, he's and supposed to have that control. Right. And she just completely took that away. Exactly. You know? And when you when that's taken away, it's real what do you have? Right? <laughs> Third place at, at Evolution is what you've got. Yeah. Not a bad place, but you he ran into one of those uh, player or character matchups that is just too tough for him to deal with. Yeah, I think uh Minot in a lot of ways is just sort of a slightly higher powered guile from from the perspective of that matchup. Mm -hmm. And there's the handshake. Getting yeah. into our grand finals here. Infiltration. He kind of had like a, like a little grimace after that. Mm. Right? Like, ah. Yeah, like the wince. Yeah, like, all right, well, he may be still formulating kind of what he wants to do. He had to play Daigo right after. And even though he's won, he hasn't had time to sit there and reflect. And Takuchi, on his win, has been able to reflect. That's right. And, and we know where Takuchi's going here. And Infiltration still looks like he's doing a little bit of thinking. And I think justifiably so. I mean, his Minot was cooking and firing on all cylinders that last game. But does he want to pull it out again after it seemed really ineffectual in the wake of that first round. And you know, as happy as my American soul is seeing John Takuchi in a red, white, blue uh, sweater, I'd really much rather see him in somebody else's garb. You know, a, a Red Bull, a, a cup noodle, something else. <laughs> Some company needs Picked to... Picked up by a team with this fresh-faced young gentleman. Some company needs to slap anything on this kid, and I will buy it <laughs> in the dozen. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean... Incredibly talented, and uh, yeah, you can put anything on him and it'll work just fine. He's the face of the future. Yeah, the future of Street Fighter here. But now facing perhaps his greatest test as he enters the Grand Finals. The crowd is feeling it. Evolution 2018 here in Tokyo, Akihabara. Round one. 
can't believe it's here. It's such a strange, strange place to be. Japan, the final. Infiltration versus John Takuchi. One that I don't think many people would have predicted. No, absolutely not. And in the best possible way. And uh, Jury versus Rashid. Rashid, sure. Yeah, Jury. Jury's such a funky character in this in this version of the game. She got a little better for sure, but not probably to the levels of a character like Rashid. Infiltration snuffing out the approach there. Backing up. You see the runaway game from Infiltration, but right. for what, right? Like, at what cost? And well, what is it gaining you sometimes? Well, and I mean, part of what it... Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Wow, what an answer. The spike. And the chain combo out of the V-Trigger. Flaming round one. I thought what usually what he would get with that backup uh, would be sort of a sort of a little psychic case switch trying to throw you off your game, but John just read it as an opportunity to just roll right in. Yeah, and this is the character that Infiltration sort of uh, goes to often when he has to fight Rashid. He did the same thing in Season 2, so not surprised to see him a little comfortable in this matchup. And John, yeah, look at the control in the corner. He's just waiting at this mm. range. Now yeah. it's his turn. And as a character, as a counter character, it's it's certainly way less bad. But it's not a strong matchup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's great. It's just not as bad. Yeah. Not worse. Not worse. That's a great way to be. Oh, wow. I love the idea, but blocks. And wake up buttons again. Infiltration's willing to do it. Just wants to hold that pressure. It's the biggest lead he's been off to in quite a while. Wow. Yeah, spending a lot of this trigger. He's out now. Blocked on the overhead again. Yeah, that has not worked out for him. Infiltration, wake up, but he's willing to do it. The juggle! Oh, and that's going to connect. Takuchi was ready for it. Those young man reactions. That's he can it. hit two that's exactly so. And yeah. we've seen those young man reactions and perhaps all those overhead blocks as well. Yeah, it feels very rare that he gets kind of tricked into bad defense and reactable scenarios. Mm. Right, kind of kind of offense that he can't see. You know, everybody's yeah, you make him guess. Blocks. Right. And then everyone looks the same. Everybody's mortal at that point, but when it comes to the reactions, he's still just a boy. Corner carry on the medium mixer. Takuchi's in such a great position here, just waiting outside of Jury's effective range, not letting her store fireballs easily. Yeah, he's been pretty consistent about finding a way to snipe out the fireball charge. Runs wow. up sweep, activate, yeah, very safe, rolling forward, looking for offense here. New infiltration, one of the space. Ooh, didn't Ooh. cancel in a CA. That's a big opportunity for infiltration. He was getting close in meter. Snipe down. Still his opportunity. Can he take this game one? Or is Takuchi going to come back? And you got to be careful about those whirlwind block strings now that infiltration has CA. On deck, he just oh, ate the jump he in. He ate it raw. What? Oh, you see him reeling. Slipped away, Takuchi. Again, just holding it solid. I, what a time to jump. How long I, did he wait in that I, exact range? Just letting infiltration move, 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 and then finally my turn to jump. What was the decision? Why did he why did he eat it there? It's so yeah, maybe yeah. he thought a walk under would happen. He missed an mm. uppercut. He was just yeah, it seemed like he was surprised. And infiltration, you, you know he's gotta be beating himself because he was in a great spot. Yeah, yeah no, no, that was deck. his round. He had all the all kinds of meter to work with. He was he was looking fine. But man, early dash in from infiltration, plus frames on that crouching medium punch, and John is in. And it was something I feel he really needed to establish this character, especially if he's going to come back from the two-set deficit. Yeah, that first game was, was crucial, right? It looked like he was going to close it out easily, and then Takuchi had to come back. Wow, what a stun. He needed to tell himself. Well, he's off to a great start here in round one of game two. But it's not just putting together these rounds. It's the consistency that's been missing. Ooh, the rolling, he's in there already. Infiltration hasn't busted out an uppercut yet. He's been going to them pretty, pretty often. Takes the uh, courtesy throw. Oh, nice air to air. Takuchi doesn't block the empty low, and he's in trouble here. Out of trigger. He's got to make this happen without it. Now infiltration doesn't want to commit. Just jumps right out of the corner. Takuchi has to allow it. Can't afford a trade. He's just walking all the way in. He has to respect that fireball. Wow. Got him with the mixer. And now has the space that he wants. Really, he's fishing for a crush counter here. It doesn't mm. anti air again. He didn't want to try the heavy yeah. mixer. Well, didn't want to risk a, a, a trade to die, so Infiltration gets out. And he knew it. I think Infiltration knew that as well, and knew he could just jump right back out. Well, the buffer him and spends, spends it earlier. It. Allows him to, to get a store here, which he'll you know happily take a couple of them. Buffering that standing medium kick. The screen distance as well. Great trade. But again, John not looking rattled. Holding his ground. 
Finds the mixer opening. The crush counter. We'll see the setup again. The dive kick. Good blocks. And there it is. A challenge on the roll. Takuchi thought it was going to be something else. And the V-Over Slide. The pace that Infiltration is playing is so much better for him. Yeah, he's turning down in a lot of ways. Yeah, which he recognized that Ta Takuchi is waiting, so maybe Infiltration should do some of the same. Mm -hmm. And that's the best place. Really, Street Fighter at its highest, sort of playing to each other's level, back and forth, matching each other's pace. Early Vera Reversal again, I like it a lot. Just creating distance for himself. Talk, he just got to work his way in. See if he can get him to bite. And he waited just that extra second before he went for the uppercut and answered again. Yeah, that wake up button from Infiltration has worked so many times because he established the uppercuts. And I feel like not even in this set, the last set. No, no, set. previously. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Carrying on from one set to the other, Takuchi says, well, he's willing to take those risks, so I will kind of respect it a little bit. And because of that infiltration, getting away with buttons and jumps on Wake Up. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of space these things open. You leave the mark in the mind of your opponent, but you must exercise those options. you got to prove it. Takuchi is kind of got to, I feel like, pick up the pace a little bit, right? So if infiltration is going to wait for him, then maybe he should force some of this offense a little more. We'll see, it's a little bit tricky to do that against Jury in a lot of ways, especially when as frisky as uh, Infiltration has proven in the earlier round. But yeah, he's so tough to predict in, in all ways, his movement too. I think this game will be illustrative in a lot of ways because we saw round one go to Takuchi with, or game one, with the same sort of style. Infiltration matched in game two, but we'll see if, uh, was that just sort of a fluke? Or has he learned something? Oh, Eagle Spike right out of there. What I like from Takuchi too is more raw mixer in the neutral. Infiltration is a movie guy. And if you do that raw mixer from kind of far away, you can catch him off guard. That's right. And by more, you mean barely more and in very specific situations. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like maybe one or two more in uh, a couple of games. <laughs> yeah. Up from none. Well, mixer is a hard thing to go to when you have as many uh, fast normals and uh, low fireballs. Oh, the rolling in activation. Oh! And he rolls in, and Infiltration wow. takes the cancel. Steals it. Will it be enough? Wow. He gets the kill, a mistake from Takuchi, <laughs> and you can see it on his yep. face. <sighs> yeah, a little grimace of his own, but that's right. a bad grimace, right? It is a bad grimace, but it's a great test of a young player, so that's what I'm excited to see if he can recover here. Yeah, we what know Infiltration has what it takes to, to win a bracket from the loser side like this and grind it out, right? It's just whether Takuchi can weather the storm. Look at this switch. Such clean counterplay. The rolling in, he was ready on this time. And the uppercut again. You know Takuchi. Representing? Yeah, he, he saw those wake-up buttons. He was sick of it, and now Infiltration with it again. Spends the CA. He's willing to take the resources. It's a good decision at this point. Yeah. Especially, yeah. It's going to close out the round. And, you know, I think he needed that. Oh, for sure. And again, the, that kind of started with another raw jump in that Infiltration just ate. And so it's... I want to understand what he's thinking there, uh, what he's hoping for. Yeah, sometimes it feels like he's so focused on what he's doing that he didn't sense maybe what was happening. That's And that's the option of the jump. When you can get these intense ground game battles and get your opponent's mind really focused on those options, it opens up those jumps. Exactly yeah, as you totally talked about reasonable. with the uppercuts. Yeah. yeah, no human's going to be able to watch both those things that intently. And not with the reaction speed that you're hoping to need. Yeah, another jump in, Takuchi walk. He's knocking <laughs> on his door. One, two, three. Oh, baits oh, the throw. Got it. But he did not, not he the didn't have the stun. Yeah, he didn't have the store he needed, the heavy kick store. But still, Takuchi Ooh. in big trouble, whiffs an eagle spike. Okay. Juggle oh, didn't get what far. he was looking for. Yeah, but he just lost positioning. It's not the end of the world, I think. Wow, that tornado goes so far. He jumped back and still got clipped. Oh, oh dashed so into it. Coming out. This is big. Takuchi still on the offense. Finds There's wake again. up buttons again. Is the dizzy? Not Close quite. the stun. He went for oh, another Eagle Spike, oh, a whip from Infiltration! But he's still in there and is going to steal it back! Oh, another Heartbreaker. Gucci. Who has a tough look on his face. He knows <laughs> that that was, it was... It was going his way. He had a big comeback kind of queued up there. As we talked about, Game 3, I think there was... Yeah, it was a lot said. And I think this is, yeah, Takuchi really needs to try and find a way to turn this around. He's been playing the kind of game he wants to play, but it's just been sort of slipping away from him with a couple of decisions. Those clutch moments, right? Yeah. Those moments where infiltration, his experience shines on more than the youth. Absolutely, that's the strong part of these kind of experiences and infiltration has had more than almost anybody in the world. 
putting John Talk to the test. Yeah, I mean, the young guy needs to prove his place at the table. Wow! A little bit of disrespect there. Oh, back throw into the corner. Infiltration's movement is so hard to catch, right? It's so hard to figure him out. John Takuchi looking. Oh, not the whip punish infiltration wanted, but he, he thought he had it out the activation. Finally finds an overhead. V trigger two for Rashid ready, but the interruption infiltration EX at the end, not going to be the kill, but, but there the meaty does it. Takuchi with the wake up button, and we're one round from another uh, reset here. Reset. Grand finals for infiltration, and he's been here before, right? If he wins this, this is. His third Evo in Street Fighter, right? That's right. And he's had he's had Evo wins in Cross Tekken as well. So I mean, he's won so many Evo events, and this has got to be Takuchi's first Evo top eight in comparison. So the experience is, is so incredible for Infiltration, and he's making it the kind of match where the experience matters as well. Oh, so, beautiful such a sequence. Spacing. Yeah, he set him up, and, and Takuchi might not have even seen that before, right? But he knows it. He felt it. Oh. Oh, wow. no gets the air. And infiltration with the staggered low. He resets the bracket against John Takuchi, who he's removed the headset and he's got to sit there and think, I think. Got to take some time to reflect. I think that would be a good decision at this point. Wow. Huh. <laughs> what an incredible turnaround. Monat, plan A, completely destroyed. And that's the strength of having multiple characters, right? The, the real, the real winner there for a guy like Infiltration, who's able to pick up characters as you mentioned so fast, yes. is the learn many. And I think there's been, from some quarters, a sort of resistance to that. People like to stick to their character. You want to find a way to make it work. There's a certain pride in that. Certainly in Japan, uh, character loyalty has been uh, tradition right. for a long time. But in a game like this. Finding these extra characters can be so beneficial, right? Especially yeah. on a scale like this, and we're seeing the strength of it here from Infiltration. Now, much like the, the, the Tekken event we saw where the, the Korean players had a multitude of characters mm. as well, and it's, it's so important. Good block from John Takuchi. He lost his positioning. Infiltration, not worried about the corner, just wants to get some stores. Yeah, really, a lot of this match is going to be Jerry running to build up those stores and then fighting when she has the space to do so. Oh, missed anti-air. Wakes up again. He's willing to risk it. Infiltration, he knows the timing on the on when Takuchi wants to approach. Oh, the he's, reversal. He's been right every time with those wake-ups in recent history. I'm looking for those lows, Takuchi, and finally tagged low. It just keeps going. The momentum, you can feel it's been stolen from Takuchi. It's exactly so. Infiltration, get the eye of the tiger now. He's taking his chances, pressuring with the throws. Switch it up. Having his way with him, really. An John excellent the, block, yeah. yeah. Doesn't look like he knows quite how to approach here. All right. Opportunity. He's got to find something, but it, I, it's hard to even say what it'll be. Yeah. He just can't seem to control or contain infiltration, which so many people have struggled with forever. Yeah, just a lot of motion, a lot of surprising buttons. Oh, no uppercut from infiltration, but he had to jump back anyway. And, and look at this. Takuchi wants pressure with his V-Trigger, but infiltration not allowing it. Oh, wow. Universal again, he wants space, he's willing to sacrifice the V-Trigger, and look at this lead for Infiltration, he's running away with this set. Wow! He gets with the shimmy. Didn't, he didn't cancel into the CA no. he was looking for, but he can get it here. Gets no V-Reversal available for Takuchi, and that's gonna be game one of the reset. Game one, and the tide has distinctly turned. <laughs> Young man being put to a test that he has not faced before. Yeah, you can feel it. You and can feel sort of the, it, it shifting in favor of infiltration, the experience that he has. But also, like as a young player, this is this is his biggest test. And just being in this kind of spot with a bracket reset is not something you're going to have to deal with until you're able to make these kind of tournament finals. Much less coming from the winner side, having it taken away from you. Cool. Okay, that was an actual uh, drop from infiltration, but the first uppercut that we've seen punished in quite some time. Yeah, and it was, it was an uppercut that wow. An uppercut that could have been crush countered for bigger damage, and Takuchi knows that he had kind of a head nod after he did that. Excellent point. A little bit of a, maybe it's just lack of awareness, or yeah, the, but he's, the speed that Infiltration plays, it makes it so hard to keep it. up with. When you're operating a few frames behind, that can be the difference between life and death, and that's the position that John Takuchi appears to be in right now. A jump out of the corner, Infiltration goes to it so constantly. Uppercut again, it keeps landing. Connects. 
And what are you going to do? Not press on your opponent's wake up? Yeah, you have to. So As you Rashid, get especially like when you're operating from behind. Okay, finds the shimmy, gets it done. Good stuff. Can he convert it into the game that he needs? Yeah, you he needs can't just put one on the board. Pressure infiltration. No, oh, right? Like, you have to, but. You know, at what cost? Eventually, it breaks your mental guard, right? You're just like, oh, I can't believe another uppercut. And by then, you know, something else is happening on the screen. That's right. Walking back away. The mixer comes out. Really just forcing towards the corner here. Takuchi in good position. He's got a lot of bar to work with as well. Snapping out that heavy kick. Bobbing and weaving. Dancing he's, up and down. Yeah, he's so consistently everywhere, right? Yeah. You can never expect where he's going to be. Looks like he's moving even when he's not. There's the heavy mixer. John's looking a lot better here. He, he really seems to kind of have controlled himself. All right. Makes that's it fine. Out. Yeah, that's the price. The reversal away. Oh, but gets punished. Infiltration was ready for it, and that's tough for John. He built his trigger back, though. I think he really needs that to make this comeback. Now it comes. Oh, powering through. Makes the throw. John, bad position. He's got a lot of bar, but it's going to get stolen again. And that overhead is now landing. Yes. That's something the that wasn't two. working previously. And we talked about playing a few frames behind. That's exactly the position he is. The young man's speed not working in his favor here. Now he's anti airing a little bit more consistency, uh, consistently. Look at infiltration to start dashing up a little bit more, right? He's going to change up his positioning. Wow. Challenge oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. The, the it's reaction starting to from set a record. Takuchi, yeah. yeah, he's like, look, all right, right back at you. If that's how we're going to play, if, th if that's what kind of fight it's going to be, then all right. <laughs> yeah, you can't begin to count him. And I think it's it's making Takuchi play a little bit more frantic, so it's working. That's right. He's starting to play a, a little bit more wild, and that is not his game. He's now playing Infiltration's game, and that is a dangerous look, especially when you're one game down after a reset. Yeah, you can see the shift, right? You can see now suddenly Infiltration is playing. He's making Takuchi play the way he wants to, and that's going to be close. Goes low. The block. Bates that it uppercut out. uppercut might be the one that haunts him. Infiltration. He's changed the momentum of his opponent's game plan, right? He's forced Hakuji to play at his speed, and that's not where he wants to be. We saw the win with the, the kind of solid, slow play, and that's really not what he's doing now. He's forced into a hand that he doesn't want to be playing. The adaptability of Infiltration has been one of the hallmarks throughout his entire career, seeing it on display in an incredible performance here, not only after taking a licking from John Takuchi, going down to the loser's bracket, facing Daigo with Minot, Going with the jury option, not finding immediate success with it in that first set, but getting it done now and rolling, rolling into a heavier and heavier advantage, forcing John Takuchi out of his comfort zone and to play his kind of game. Yeah, and I mean, right there, successful wake up button with no bar on defense from infiltration. Like, he, he's so comfortable now that Takuchi is respecting wake up after wake up after wake up. He's, he's afraid. Oh, and <laughs> another one, he calls him out. B reversal into the EX. Infiltration willing to take all these risks and Takuchi, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know when to respect it. He doesn't know when not to. The clean mixer finds the pressure in the corner. Overhead, good. Back on terra firma there. That looked like classic Rashid round and finish. Yeah, so it's like right back at you, right? Yeah. I'm going to kind of play my game here, get the ants here. Looking a little, yeah, he's, he's slowed down a little bit more from Takuchi. I'd like to see him kind of go back to that pace he was playing. But we've seen these rounds from him before, and they have not turned into games, crucially. That is what he must do. Takes the back throw. Positioning is so important for Rashid here towards the corner. And infiltration, he tried to bite off more than he could chew there by walking all the way up stun. There it is. It's a very clean round. Gets the jump in. He's got CA available. Does not spend it just yet. He's getting close to being able to chip with it as well. Now that that activation happened, yeah, he's going to set up a chip here. He can shoot the whirlwind. Yeah. Come in behind the second one and find the chip. All right, there's Nice skill. call out. I think Infiltration realizing the game plan from Takuchi. Let's see if he can take advantage. Good break. Oh. Wow. Caught oh, with the, just if, an Aaron Eagle spike. That's right. And if that had not gone his Rushing way. Hmm. Well, he got the game he needed. Yes, he did. But in uh, slightly less convincing fashion. I'm, I'm not yet convinced. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's, it still wasn't the way he played in the first set, right? Correct. And it's not quite the game he wanted to play. He was finding a way to get it done. Uh, played well. Still more offense here. This is where he's really got to win, right? This positioning, corner positioning, infiltration oh. with no bar, wrong anti-air decision. Could have been the heavy mixer. He was both out of position and a little late. Yeah. Well, that's a bad combo for sure yeah. as an anti-air goes. You got to have an incredible anti-air for that to work. Gets caught with the Sun. side switch. Almost And that's over the kind it. of reactable thing that we talked about that he was so good at handling before. And now, 
The round is going to slip away. And we are at tournament point. Yeah, this could be crazy sentence, but another Evo for Infiltration. Unbelievable. And I think, while everybody respects this play, I don't think he was at the top of anybody's mind for this tournament quite yet. Yeah, after his incredible performance at the LCQ at Capcom Cup, it's, it's hard to doubt just how, how strong this guy is in this tournament. Here in Grand Finals, big lead. He's building it even more. He needs to get some stores. There it is. Throws that like kick fireball. Does Gets not over it. tag him. Yeah. Just barely. John Takuchi's hold oh, again. The uppercuts, man. Those are the biggest story of the set for sure. Those uppercuts landing so consistently for infiltration. And they leave a mark, not just in your life bar, but on your mind. Oh, yeah. I mean, every time it lands, Takuchi, he's got to second guess himself. And infiltration taking full advantage here. Moving behind those liking fireballs again. and Okay, I like the movement here from Takuchi. He's lost, but he lets trade. All the stores come out, gets the counter. Yeah, one more solid hit for him. Could take the round here. Throw. Now the throw threat. Yes! John Takuchi staying alive. Yeah, mental fortitude. Very strong there. Infiltration had a big lead in that round, about 50%. And uh, just a big comeback from Takuchi. Playing the kind of game he wanted to play. Didn't have to take a lot of wild chances. Ooh, look at him wait right there. I love the patience. No anti-air, but still a, a, a little bit more solid. The raw mixer again, yeah. Catches a guy like Infiltration off guard. Poke looking to see if he can catch the wake-up button. Doesn't come. Infiltration builds up one store. Probably not. Uh, man, Infiltration getting locked down here. Look for an air-to-air. -air. You got to watch the jump out from Infiltration. Oh, he's been so successful with that raw jump out. A little bit out of position, both dropping opportunities. And the answer here, finally, Infiltration is ready. Green looking for the counter hit. Yeah, trying to find back heavy kick. Neutral oh, jump. And then Fireball evaporated right last second. Yeah, it worked out so perfectly for John. Spends the bar. Victory still in sight here for Infiltration. Can he close it out? Evo 2018, the inaugural Japan. Oh, he didn't get the activation he wanted. Takuchi, though, still has trigger. The oh, jump. he got him. It's enough, an infiltration, your EVO Japan 2018 champion over John Takauchi. You can see how much it means to him. That is a multi-time Street Fighter V EVO champion. Snatching it away from a heavy Japanese field, both obviously in the main bracket, in this top eight. Wow, what a smile. Respectful bow from John Takauchi, and I think well, obviously, he would have loved to get the win here. I think he got something. This is going to be corny. I'm going to go straight there. Something a little bit more valuable, that there's a lot more game yet to be learned. There's new vistas, and that, to me, is one of the ultimate joys of fighting games. No matter where you are on that, just knowing that there's always some way you can improve, you can always be getting better. Right. Yeah, there's, as long as you know there's ways to improve, you will always improve, right? The minute That's you right. begin to feel like you've learned everything is when you kind of close the door on understanding these kinds of things. That's why it stops being fun. Like, exactly, when, you, when you're yeah. out of the learning zone, yeah. Yeah, when you feel there's nothing left to learn, then then there truly is, right? And then that's a big problem for sure. Uh, but you know, you, you you hit us with the the end of the Disney movie, the uh, the sort of no. yeah, no, deny just like that. You hit us with the end of the Disney movie, the feels, the 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 moment, and then there's a giant cup noodle behind us. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't get more Evo than that. It couldn't be a couldn't be a better Evo Japan. Yeah, young versus old, infiltration, finding a way to get it done. Amazing performance from the Beast. Yeah. Cup Noodle. Yeah. Who could ask for anything uh, more? That's all I... If there wasn't the Cup Noodle at the end, I, I probably wouldn't have what's been able a, to keep it together. What says salt? Like a... Yeah. An enormous Cup of Noodle. Exactly. The, I mean, yeah. What says like, you know, sort of... As you mentioned, the, the evolution of this tournament from something that came from an inspiration of SBO... Yes. ...to all the way where we are today, the young generation of John Takuchi being there on the stage with Japanese legends. Hmm. It's, it's such a... It's such a cool moment for him. I mean, it's not the, the end of this tournament that he wanted, but it, it's got to be, you know, the most prestigious placing he's ever had. Oh, for sure. I mean, and hopefully this creates a lot of opportunities for him. Yeah, and I think what I'm most impressed with, the, you know, besides John, is Infiltration's ability to adapt <laughs> and overcome, like, the character choices that he has, incredible. And, again, the only multi-time Street Fighter V EVO champion, right? Correct. He's the only guy to get another one on the board, and I'm sure coming into Vegas... And uh, later this year, he wants to do the same. So it's it's hard to undersell how incredibly strong of a player he is. How many, you know, EVO champion in Street Fighter 4 and cross Tekken in Street Fighter 5 multi-time now. 
won the 25th anniversary. He's a learning machine. Yeah, yeah. There, there's almost no one who has a better pedigree in Street Fighter than Infiltration. And not just the returns in terms of actual results on the tournament, but also just in terms of his depth of character knowledge and ability right. across an incredible range of players. Yeah, and there he is, John Takuchi receiving his medal. Second place here. Shout outs to John. I'm going to do a little clapping here, try not to pop the mics. Ooh, look at that beautiful hair Infiltration, from Infiltration. Yeah. Why would you hide it under a no. hat like that? I mean, well, with a sponsor like Monster, I'm sure he's got great reasons. Yeah. Holding yeah. aloft the medal proudly, yeah. taking his place on the uh, teleporter here. Is <laughs> he paired? Beam him up, Scotty. Ayano san handing the trophy, getting his moment in the sun. Speaking of haircuts. I, uh, I, I, I don't think I could rock that one. It's not for yeah, me. My no, hair's well, a little different. Yeah. I can't so ascend I'm not going to tell you tried it. I'm going to knock it. <laughs> you could go straight for the knock it. Yeah. Man, infiltration. 600,000 yen. So many yens. That's a lot of yen. <laughs> I'm just going to pluralize it. <laughs> Ayano. Helping him hold it aloft. Yeah, he's, he's struggling there to, to hold both of them. But really, that's, that's the one he wants. He's like, look, get the big check doesn't matter to me. I'd rather hold another Evo trophy. I don't even know how many of those he has at this point. But. I don't know if that check is legal tender. And a big shout out to the Cup Noodles. Although I feel like a little bit betrayed by that uh, Cup Noodles at this point. Beautiful jacket to all the winners here at Evo 2018. Yeah, an exclusive jacket. In Japan. You can see it says on there, 2018 champion. Gonna oh, have him uh, don the jacket there. He's got a lot to hold on to for all the assistants on stage. Yeah, he's got the check, he's got the jacket, he's got the medal, he's got the trophy. He's got the microphone with the cup noodle on it. The cup noodles. Always in there. I wish these items were produced from within the cup noodle. Mm -hmm. Maybe for uh, Evolution Japan 2019. And we're gonna hear from the master himself, the crowd, a hush breaking out. <laughs> a well-deserved cheer of relief, even from this Japanese crowd, proud to see an incredible performance. Whoa, Hello. busting out the Hello, Japanese. everyone. I'm Korea's Infiltration. Thank you, everyone, for coming here for to coming Evo Japan. To Japan. Okay. Oh, Oh, hello everyone. Good evening. I'm Infiltration from Korea. He said, let's go Daigo. Okay. okay. I'm so happy, but I cannot say I'm back because... No, 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 no. It's too fast. I'm not back. But I can say I only one player who who won Evo Japan and Evo US. えっと、すごく嬉しいんですけれども、アンダーに戻ってきたぞとはまだ言えないのが心の内です。ただですね、一つ言えるのは、イボジャパン、エボ、US両方勝った唯一の選手であるということは誇らしく言えます。Thank you for coming to Japan, and I love you guys. I love FGC. Thank you guys. Class act. Yeah, you heard it from there. Two I, words. I can't say I'm bad. No. Um, I, all I can say is that uh, I'm the champ. <laughs> that, that's basically what he dropped on you. Uh, I'm, I'm not the best. But I am the only person to win Evo Japan and Evo US. So do the math. And I will say that in three languages. Yeah, three. he dropped three languages on us. Mm. Is there anything? Mm. Well, I, I figure, you know, learning two characters is probably a lot. <laughs> but then he's busy learning hundreds of kanji characters. In the meantime, apparently learning a, an additional language that I didn't know he had up, up his sleeve. He's an incredible performer. And, uh, yeah, I think subtle, putting people just very subtly on blast, but in a respectful way. Perfect FGC. Shout outs to everybody. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with us uh, from from uh, dingy Sunnyvale arcades 
as we made our way through uh, college ballrooms and on to Vegas and now uh, here in Japan, bringing it back to the country that brought us Street Fighter, to the country that brought us uh, some incredible tournaments and an amazing set of performers, as well as Cup Noodle. Of course. That's of course. probably the, really? the big takeaway yeah. uh, to everything here. It's, it's been such a cool event for me, especially. Like, I'm part of the newer generation that uh, John Takuchi is in, and it's one of those things where, like, uh, right, right around when I was interested in fighting games, we heard about EVO Japan potentially happening, right, in mm. 2011. Like, many of the O-Niners heard about it and thought it was going to be cool. The fact that seven years later, <laughs> it exists here in Japan, it feels like a fairy tale. It feels like it's not real. Right? Everything's on a cycle. It wasn't, uh, it was exciting, and then maybe it wasn't going to happen. And then through the hard work of a lot of people, both uh, in the Japanese community, shout outs to uh, Mr. Matsuda and Hamako san, and so many others who put in a great amount of work to bring this here, right. as well as all the supporters from uh, the various companies who've helped put it together. Yeah, I mean, it's such an incredible event to be put on. Nothing like this has been done in Japan before. The, the uh, event of this scale is absolutely absurd for the fighting game community here, and they did an incredible job. Much love to them, the EVO staff, all the broadcast uh, talent for both the English incredible. and the Japanese side, everybody who's putting on the production. Uh, much love to them, and, and thank you to the viewer for tuning in absolutely. to really a celebration of all fighting games here at Evolution. That's the hope, is to try and bring all the communities together. Uh, we have more in common than we have differences, and uh, yeah, just the joys of the human heart that are revealed by this game mean a huge amount to me, and uh, thank you for sharing this journey together. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Cut. Cut. That was, it's getting. It's getting dangerous. It's getting foggy in here. Now, I can now I'm gonna it. enter my cup of noodle and, and fly out of here. It's like the <laughs> elevator at the end. <laughs> right. The glass, the glass elevator. elevator. Why do you know what? I, yeah. Well, okay. I'm just. I'm not supposed to know about that. I don't know. I don't know what people are supposed. to. I used to know what it was. Yeah, now, I've got a computer fancy weird. watch. I looked it up in the middle of your sentence. <laughs> I googled. Oh, like what well, elevator? I don't know what's happening here. I have an AR overlay. Yeah. Uh, it's been. Yeah, an amazing thing that uh, I don't think anybody at the beginning ever even considered anything like this. So the For fact sure. that we're here today is, is yeah, already beyond our wildest dreams. And the, the future is uncharted and I think bright. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of great games and a lot of ways this could go. And uh, Street Fighter is the girl that brought me to the dance. And I'm um, really excited to be here today as uh, it's really come full circle in a lot of ways. Yeah, and I think that's the, the thing for, for EVO in general is that the excitement for me is that EVO is one of those things that once a year you get together and you see, like, really your family, right? Mm. You kind of gather up and see all these different people for all these different games. But to see it happen in Japan, and then now it's, I know it's going to happen eight months from now again in Las Vegas, and then yeah. maybe, who knows, again in Japan, it's like... To have something like this twice a year feels like we're almost being spoiled because <laughs> like something so good shouldn't probably exist this often, right? It's something that you have to look forward to. Look, there's it's never it's never a wrong time to see your family and right. uh, what's so incredible here is the the amazing turnout of foreign players as well mm. as the support from the Japanese community. When I walked into the room uh, Evo Japan as yeah, smells like an Evo, right? And <laughs> it sure it had did. That, <laughs> it had that energy. It had that community spirit, uh, the fighting spirit from the Vampire Saber machines yeah. uh, over to the Marvel community, over to Street Fighter and uh, all the great games uh, from across across the fighting game universe. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's great to have a family, and it's great to know that there are people that are in your family that you haven't even met yet. So yeah, exactly. If you haven't had a chance yet, please come out uh, and join us at one of these events. Uh, it can change your life. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's it's one of those things where you will never not look back at your first evil and think to yourself that it was a bad idea. You'll you'll kind of be like. <laughs> Why would I have not gone to one of these further? <laughs> like, you got to take every single cent you can find under your sofa and your piggy bank and, and make it happen, you know. Start saving now for, for evolution, and it, it'll for sure change your life. It's one of those events that – it's one of those things where I remember when I watched the first Evo I ever watched, mm. not in person, and I listened and I watched the event, and I said, this is the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. There's no <laughs> reason to get I shouldn't – more. Yeah, there's yeah. no reason I shouldn't be involved in this, and that, that was, like, enough motivation for me. Uh, yeah, I think there, the motivations can come from a lot of different places, but it's an incredible community, and uh, it can absolutely change your life and bring you into yeah. a connection with people that you just wouldn't have thought possible until you get that chance. That's what keeps us all coming back year after year, uh, old and young alike. And, uh, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for coming along with us and watching everything here. It's been really, really a true privilege. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something <laughs> <Thank> special. <you. laughs> it's something special. And, and the craziest thing is to walk into a, a building in Japan 
and see 100 American people <laughs> in the same place that you <laughs> know personally because of video games. Yeah. And, and that, I don't want to say love each other, but... Right, the high fives are out, the hugs are out. Yeah, I don't like Hanzo Gonzo that much, but many people look, there is love for. Look, obviously, well, yeah, Hanzo yeah. Gonzo, every every family has its black sheep. That uh, yeah, sure. right. Uh, shout out to Hanzo. I can't even. Yeah, I can't I can't even front. <laughs> yeah, he's I can't been even working front. hard he's, all weekend, and we're he's just one of us. Yeah, God bless us, everyone. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> even Hanzo. Even Hanzo. He's got the stink lines like going yeah. off of him and everything as we speak. <laughs> but uh, I, I feel like. I hear there's something big coming up on the stage, so I think there is some kind of an announcement that we're going to head to. Hi, everyone. As if we could take any more. Yeah. My name is Mark, Mark also known as Mark Mann from the EVO staff, and I just wanted to thank all the players, all the viewers, everyone that was part of this event for coming out to Japan and being part of the very first EVO Japan. Hey, everyone. え、まず最初にこのイベントに参加してくださいました。え、ここにいる選手の皆様、え、参加してくださった過去2日間の3日間の選手の皆様、そしてこれを見てくださってる皆様、関わってくださった皆様方に本当に心からお礼を申し上げ
Oh my goodness. She got it. Oh, 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 what? And he's drinking that Red Bull like it was all according to plan. The 2B and that is it. GX Bridget from Taiwan marches into Japan. We got the Kim Jong Hill right here. Oh, oh the burst! Oh. Oh. That's it! Oh, the fight! That's it! Hold on, he's got 50. I don't think he's gonna kill. He's it got will. 50 though. He's it got will. 50. This will kill. Boom, boom. No drop, door takes it. Good lockdown. He's oh, oh no. no. Not gonna kill. I know he yes, did I say it? Will. Did I say it? Yes, you did. Did I say it again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize. Oh, that's it. That's it. That is that's it. it. One, six, eight, and Woo. that is your champion. Surprising absolutely nobody. Hey. The boy wonder, Fenrich. Zero percent. That was a perfect start. There's just no way. Wait, wait. Are you going to get no hits? Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, oh my God. Perfect. Nine. 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 But he has limit. And this is where it's scary. I'm sure I interrupt that. Okay, he's Let's on go. point today. Let's go! Wow. He's back! Yeah. He's back! Now watch him for rage drive. Yeah, that's the thing. If he gets the rage drive, he can end oh, it. Oh, he blocked it. Big block! And Chanel with the reset! Big back one! Oh, this is going to be close. It's not going to be enough to kill. It's going to be very, very close, though. And the Oki behind oh, it. The Sonic Bang! The he second hit. is your champion for EVO Japan 2018. The legend is back. Omito Reddit got the throw on the ground. Snipe him out the air. We have a reset. What's my name? And Omito now gonna turn that the ball machine. You still gonna hold that? Oh, we're going swimming. Kevin Spacey what cup noodles? What cup noodles is it? Oh, hashtag me too. Uh, that's that Johnny face. Hellfire. Now nah, you got a shot for Omito. You got some. Oh, meat. that's done. Oh, that's it. Oh, What's my, my name? God. Shoot the J. Shoot it. Combo it's OP. Oh my god, he's still, he's still going! going. It's Stephen Hawking! Oh, Six that's it! Nage! 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 He does it! it. Nage takes it, EVO Japan, the first inaugural champion. Nage, Guilty Gear X and Revelator 2. One more mix up. Infiltration, he flips off the oh. rocks. What's Overhead oh, block down, punish. Ow! John Takuchi, hand in the air. America sweatshirt, the new generation says, welcome. Roll out the red carpet, I'm headed to Grand Finals. It's like he's the total package. Oh, is that gonna reach? No. From there, no, no way. Why? No. Infiltration with the reaction on the CA, and it's oh. enough to kill. Yeah, the future of Street Fighter here. But now facing perhaps his greatest test, Evolution 2018, here in Tokyo.